Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's Watch Your Record on Wednesday. So today I started, well actually yesterday, I started a uh, new whip and I got an email from Stringy Ding Ding. She sends out emails every week because she puts out a new pattern every week, sometimes multiple patterns. But uh, as soon as I got this email, I knew that I wanted to start it. So I went ahead and started it right away. Um, so this is her new Amigurumi pattern. And it is a free pattern, but you can also buy the PDF if you want to. And if you're a member of the Stringy Ding Ding membership, um, she has all kinds. You can get the download for free because, you know, you pay your membership. But she puts out multiples a month, so it's worth it. <laughs> and uh, you can talk to people in the forum about it. And also, uh, she has all kinds of video tutorials and things uh, on techniques and stuff like that. Anyways, so her new pattern is, I'll pop up a picture because uh, you won't be able to tell by my... <laughs> my uh, progress is a goose and it's mother goose or just a goose it depends on if you make the bonnet or not but i'm definitely gonna make the bonnet i'm gonna make it mother goose so so far all i got is the top of the head <laughs> uh i just got to where i'm about to put the eyes in and uh i think it's so cute <laughs> already i can't wait to make this little goose it's gonna be so sticky cute i'm using a g hook which is a four millimeter i believe the pattern calls for an h hook I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> I was looking at it on my phone. But uh, I'm looking forward to making this little goose. It's going to be so cute. Um, I think to go along with like nursery rhymes and stuff that I read the kids. Because uh, Mother Goose, you know, it's just cute. But I'm definitely making the bonnet and it's just going to be so cute. <laughs> I already love it. Uh, I know I'm going to love it. But I'm just using Red Heart Super Saver. I got this like half used skein um, that I'm going to use up. Maybe. I don't know how big. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably have a scrap ball left over. Um, and I'm using my little Good Witch stitch marker that I was gifted, I believe, last Halloween. I think it was during a, um, Halloween Advent top swap, um, thingy. <laughs> but I'm so excited. It's just the top of the head, but it's still gonna be cute. I know it's gonna be cute. I'm going to make the bonnet in Red Heart Super Saver Light Raspberry, because it's like a really pretty pink color. And I got a skein of it that was gifted to me forever ago. <laughs> and, um, I'm still using it just here and there when I want... A cute pink and I think that'd be cute for her little bonnet <laughs> but I'm super excited about this pattern I love all of Olive's patterns I don't think she's put out a single one that I have not loved <laughs> so I'm most definitely a membership I have been a, a member of her membership since the day it started <laughs> and I'll probably be a member of it forever because <laughs> I love being able to instantly get the um, PDF downloads and uh, every month she also gives you a coupon code to get a free PDF of a past one because when you join you get the last 30 days worth of patterns for free. Um, and then after that, you have those coupon codes so that you can go back and get older patterns if you want. Because um, she's got so many cute patterns. I mean, it's a ridiculous amount of cute patterns. And I always, I'm so, I look forward to every week <laughs> to get that email to see what else she's put out. And I've made a ton of her patterns and I have a bunch on my to-do list. So, um, some of them I just have to start immediately. I've just barely got started on this because of the baby and all that. But hopefully I'll get to work on this some more today um, at some point. I have another whip going, but that's going to be a Stitch Your Library whip that I'll be putting out on, I think, Friday. is the day that I'm doing that video. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, yeah, so that's why I'm working on this Wednesday. Also, for dinner tonight, I got in the crock pot already. I'm on top of it. It's still early. I don't even know. It's like 9 o'clock maybe in the morning. Um, crock pot crack chicken, which me and Devin love. It's like really good <laughs> um it's a really simple recipe i'll link i'll leave the uh, almost said pattern the recipe that i use down below i found it on pinterest one day and uh i've made it a couple times and we love it um it's really simple it's just chicken uh ranch seasoning and cream cheese you cook that all together for like seven hours <laughs> six seven hours until the chicken is cooked and shreddable and then you shred it and you add cheddar cheese bacon bits and uh well i'll use real bacon crumbles and what else there's something else oh like you can garnish with like green onions and um and then you can serve it like on a bun i think devin eats it on a bun i can't remember i just eat it on a bowl because i'm not a big bread person unless it's like rolls at like a restaurant i can eat that all day <laughs> or like cress crescent 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 rolls <laughs> croissants but the ones i buy are crescent rolls but um yeah, I just eat it like out of a bowl. And sometimes I make a random side. Sometimes I make like potatoes or um, a something. I don't know. <laughs> I usually like potatoes because I'm a potato person. <laughs> but uh, it's really good. Anyways, I suggest you making it. And I love crock pot meals, especially now that I have June. Because she's, uh, you know, she's a baby. Um, so 
I don't have not a lot of time to actually stand in there and cook and stuff. So I use a lot of crock pot meals or like sheep pen meals <laughs> since she's born. But um, anyways, yeah, she rolled over again today. She's 15 weeks today, which I feel super early <laughs> to be rolling. And she's rolling over from her back to her stomach, which is supposed to be the second way to roll over. Like they're supposed to roll over the other way first from tummy time, stomach to back because of their big heads, you know, thinking like, <laughs> but she's just, she rolled over about a week ago. And I was like, well, maybe it was just a fluke because <laughs> she does have a big head. Um, um, and then today I, I had her in the floor because I always put her in the floor when I'm doing stuff and no one else is away because she can't fall any farther than the floor. <laughs> um, so she was in the floor on a blanket watching TV, <laughs> listening to it because she couldn't really see it from the angle she was laying. But um, and she was just babbling and talking. And then uh, I heard her talking like a whole lot. And I was washing bottles from overnight. And I, I went in there to look at her. And she was on her stomach with her little head up looking around and i was like you rolled over and so i put her back on her back and went back in there to keep doing more stuff because i was afraid she'd roll over and like hit her head on the floor um and then when i came back in to sit down she was still in the floor on her back talking and stuff and then she just ran over to her side and was trying to try and try and i'll insert the clip i'll have to mute it though because music was playing in the background um so you won't be able to hear her talking i'll try to get a clip next time without anything in the background because it's so cute she's like yelling the whole time like it's frustrating her that she can't just go over but and then she uh just rolled up over onto her little belly and was looking around <laughs> and it's so cute i feel like it's really early because I, I can't remember exactly when jesse started to roll over but i think he was already into four months and she's just barely three months she just turned three months last wednesday so i don't know <laughs> It's just, was that last Wednesday or was it the Wednesday before last? I can't remember. But anyway, she's 15 weeks today. So, um, she's rolling over. <laughs> so I just definitely got to be careful, you know, no more setting her on the couch or on the bed. Um, I told Devin that already because he woke up. And, uh, so, but I usually put her in the floor anyways when I'm not, when I'm doing stuff. It's because she can't fall any farther than the floor. <laughs> so I just put her on a blanket in the floor and, uh, she usually just lays there and listens to TV and chews on her hands. <laughs> anyways. Uh, so there's that. I talked about dinner. I talked about the baby. <laughs> I forgot to ask you guys, what are you guys working on today? Uh, let me know what you're working on down in the comments. Crochet patterns, watching TV shows, doing house stuff, whatever you're doing, let me know because I'm curious. And let me know what you're doing for dinner because I always like to have ideas for the next night. <laughs> Gotta cook dinner almost every night unless I go out to eat. The new Downton Abbey movie comes out next Friday. Not this Friday, the 13th, but the one after that, the 20th. I'm thinking about going to watch it by myself. Because we can't take June. And we won't have a babysitter for the baby. So I told Devin, I was like, I might go and watch it by myself. Because <laughs> I really want to see it. But I won't go on the 20th. Because that's Friday night at the theater. It's usually packed. Because when the new movies come out. I'll probably wait till Tuesday after that. Because that's their stimulus Tuesdays at our theater. And the snacks and stuff are half, like half off. <laughs> so I can get like a discount. And uh, it'd be nice to go to the movies. By myself. With... Um, a big popcorn and a drink and just sit there and watch a movie. <laughs> be nice. So I'm thinking about doing that. But uh, our movie theater now is AMC. AMC bought them, I think 2019. It was before the pandemic. Because uh, it was like a locally owned type thing. And then they, AMC bought it. So that's cool because now I can use AMC gift cards if I ever get any. I've, we gotten one before. Uh, and they have like a reward program that we used, we used to before we had June. And before the pandemic, it was literally, it was 2019 into 2020. We would go to the movies a lot, me and Devin. And uh, they had like a, AMC has like a um, rewards program where like the more money you spend, the more you get to get like a discount off of the next time you come. So we did that a lot. Anyways, I'm blabbing now. You're about to see me again in another video because <laughs> I meant to film No Kitchen Name yesterday. I just didn't have time. We were busy. Um, so I'm going to record it and put it out tomorrow, which is Thursday. Uh the 12th i think today's 11th may 11th yeah i'm pretty sure today's 11th <laughs> i can't remember anything um so i'm gonna record that i got all my stuff in here so i'll be wearing the same outfit and this goose won't have any work on it because i'm i'm just literally gonna film this <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna hop off here and i'll see you guys tomorrow for sure in no kitchen name 172 i think it is and then friday i'm planning on doing a sit your library and i want to do a vlog I think I, I started vlogging a little bit today, but I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it because I, I have a tendency of starting vlogs and then I forget to finish them. <laughs> but um, anyways, I'll hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.